And here in the States on Capitol Hill, Republicans who disapprove of the U.S. mission in Libya are trying to send a strong message to the president. CBS News congressional correspondent Nancy Cordes has the latest on that. Nancy, good morning. Good morning, Chris. So I understand that they had prepared a, res a resolution to vote on, but um, didn't think it went far enough. That's right. Republican leaders had crafted a resolution that would have called on the president to withdraw all U.S. forces from hostile operations in Libya. But when they presented that to the rest of the Republican caucus yesterday, they got a ton of pushback from members who said, we don't think that this goes far enough and we think that we should cut off funding to the entire operation altogether. So what happens now? They pick this up again today? That's right. Now they're crafting legislation that would do just that, that would cut off funding for all hostile operations, things like troops on the ground, manned bombing strikes, even predator strikes. They would allow uh, support missions, things like aerial refueling, so we didn't leave our NATO allies completely in the lurch. Now they know that this legislation, which they could vote on as early as tomorrow, probably won't go anywhere in the democratically controlled Senate, but they feel that they need to send this message anyway. What is it about this mission in Libya that has House Republicans so angry? I mean, is it strictly a cost thing? Well, that's part of it. They say that uh, it's costing a lot of money, money that we don't have, and that they don't understand what the overriding natural, national interest is in Libya. Mostly what they're frustrated with, Chris, is that the president himself hasn't come down here to Capitol Hill to explain what the national interest is and that they weren't consulted before this mission began. As you know, members of Congress don't like it very much when they're not consulted by the White House, and this is the Republicans' way of showing their displeasure with that. All right. CBS's Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill for us this morning. Nancy, thank you. Sure thing.